Okay, so now we've configured our Raspberry Pi to execute Python scripts. Uh, but we'll go in, we're first going to have to fix a really annoying error that is occurrent on most uh, instances of, or on most combinations of a Raspberry Pi and a certain HDMI screen. As you may notice, there's a, this is my actual desktop, it goes from here to here, but my screen goes from here to there. So there's an annoying black border and it's really easy to take away, but we'll have to use our Raspberry Pi assistant for this. So let's take a look at our uh, system. Once again, this is the assistant and this is the terminal. And uh, you want to click the button that says open config.txt file. I'm not going to bore you with what it does. Uh, I'll just explain it really simple. It's a kind of configuration file that stores the essentials of it. And you will want to look for the button that says, uh, you want to look for the line that says disable overscan. It's this one. And you simply remove the hashtag in front of it. This is going to uncomment that line and it's going to it's going to take the black border away. So if that didn't fix your issue, uh, you can do two things. You can uh, uh, comment it back in and try something else, or you can leave it uncommented and change the, the frame buffer. You will have to set it to the your screen resolution. I don't have an actual screen on this machine, so I need to use a, a forced console size that it's readable for you guys. But uh, a standard HDMI screen is going to be uh, 1920 on 1080. Or you can take a look at... Where is it? Oh, this file. These, these lines. These have the same uh, effect as simply uh, disabling the overscan. If you don't know what everything does, the, the Raspberry Foundation have made a, a really helpful page where everything is explained. Uh, I will put that link in the description. Um, for this to take effect, you have to save it. So just press Ctrl S, uh, close your text file and press the reboot button. This is going to uh, reboot the entire system and allow the new configuration settings to take effect. So I'm going to press it. The screen is just going to go blank like that. Now um, there is another way of uh, addressing this issue. You can just get the SD card, the micro SD card out of your Raspberry Pi and insert it into your computer. And there you have to look for a file that says config. It's this one and we will open it with our notepad++. Then you look for that same line, it's on line 10, and you simply disable that and save the file. It has the same effect as doing it in your uh, Raspberry Pi. The biggest advantage is that, um, the biggest advantage of Pi Assistant is that it's a little bit quicker, and the biggest advantage of using your Windows computer to edit the file is that you can just copy it before editing, so you have backup in case anything goes wrong. I leave the choice up to you, but I always do the first uh, method myself.